Hi, my name is Patrick Guerrero for Oshkosh 2015 for Tom's Aviation. And I'm just going to explain a little bit about the PT6, uh, PT6 engine here, a little bit about the engine. So what we're looking at here is a PT6 uh, large model engine cutaway. Uh, it's a reverse flow free turbine engine, which means that there are two sections to it. And I'll get to what a free turbine means in just a second. Uh, basically, the way it this engine works is the propeller is mounted to the front of the engine and the air intake on the airframe would actually be just below the propeller. So if we're looking at this engine here, the air intake is right there. The propeller just mounts to the prop flange right here. So this air comes through the... On the airframe, it'll come through the bottom of the, um, the engine cowling. It'll come up through the inlet screen and enter the compressor. So this blue section is the cold section. Uh, on this particular model, there's four stages of axial compression and one stage of centrifugal compression. So the air basically gets squeezed into a smaller and smaller area and it gets accelerated out into this uh, next area here, which we'll talk about shortly. So, um, yeah, so basically we're compressing the air here. That air then moves on to the combustion chamber liner. Uh, at the combustion chamber liner, the air is mixed with fuel through these fuel nozzles. The air comes into here at the combustion chamber liner. It's mixed with uh, air, ignited, and then it goes to drive the, the first stage turbine here, which we can see is turning the same direction as the compressor. The first stage turbine is called the compressor turbine, and its sole purpose is to turn the compressor. This assembly here is called the gas generator section, and its purpose is to produce gas. It's to produce the gases to turn the power turbine. So once the air leave, leaves the, the gas generator section, it still has a lot of energy and a lot of uh, temperature to, to create power. So then it continues through this two-stage power turbine, which drives the propeller. The two-stage power turbine ha uh, goes through a reduction gearbox. It's a two-stage planetary reduction gearbox. Uh, and it, it slows down the speed from about 30,000 RPM here to about 2,000 RPM. The exact, the exact speeds vary from model to model, but, uh, but generally on the order of 30,000 RPM to 2,000 RPM. Uh, the gas generator section here turns a little bit faster. It turns somewhere around 36,000 RPM to 39,000 RPM for this, this uh, section here. Uh, just on this side here, we have a few different things. This is the starter generator. So in order to start the engine, we have to spin it to about 12% 12, 12 gas generator speed. So this, through the accessory gearbox, drives the compressor to start the engine. Uh, down at the bottom here, these are two external scavenge pumps. These external scavenge pumps are part of the oil system to bring oil back from the gearbox. Uh, the oil tank is right here. And then just over here we have two things. There's a, there's a fuel metering unit on the back. On some models it's called the fuel control unit. Basically controls your fuel scheduling. Uh, when, the, when the pilot changes the prop lever, that, that input ends up at the fuel control or fuel metering unit, which changes is the fuel schedule to the end. And then this is the high pressure fuel pump which uh, boosts the pressure to the very high pressures required for, uh, for combustion in the air. Um, I guess you can look at the front as well if you'd like to. On the front here, typically there's a propeller control unit, or in this case a propeller interface unit. Uh, this controls your propeller <laughs> RPM. And propeller RPM, when when the engine's in governing mode, so in cruise, propeller RPM is, is uh, controlled by the propeller blade angle. So in other words, if you want to slow down the propeller, you'll increase torque by increasing the blade angle through this propeller uh, this metering unit. And on the other side would just be, um, this model's a little bit different. This is called the PMA, the Permanent Magnet Alternator. And it just provides a prop speed reading to uh, the airframe systems. On some models, there will be an overspeed governor uh, mounted there to prevent overspeed. In, in that orange area, that's the combustion chamber liner, so that's where the fuel gets from getting that fuel. So inside that orange area, the fuel and air is mixed, ignited, and it wraps around and hits the, the compressor turbine, which is the first stage there. 
How many RPMs is that turning at? 39,000. For the gas generator side, it's 39,000 RPM. About 33,000 RPM for the power section.